Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap with Southern California correspondent Scott Shapiro. ShapCap is sponsored by Derby Wars, your site for daily horse racing tournaments. And ShapperToCapper.com, your site for daily handicapping info from across the United States. Hey racing fans, welcome back to another edition of Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap. The 2016 Kentucky Derby is in the book, and Nyquist used his tactical speed, showed his class, and his ability to get to the wire first, and remained undefeated a perfect 8-for-8 eight eight in holding off Exaggerator in the stretch. Southern California continues to dominate the three-year-old scene as Nyquist heads to Maryland looking for the second leg of the Triple Crown, the Preakness Stakes. He'll be a heavy favorite, and he'll be very tough to beat. We'll get back to the Triple Crown scene next week on ShapCap. But this week, we're going to take a look at one of the more seasoned runners. Yes, Nyquist will ultimately be looking to win the Breeders' Cup Classic late in the year at Santa Anita Park. That race is shaping up if everyone stays healthy to be very special. You also have the Derby winner from a couple years ago, California Chrome, doing as well as ever. And of course, you have the six-year-old Mayor Beholder. And yes, Beholder returned to the races uh, last Sunday and dominated a field that was completely overmatched in the adoration. The connections were extremely happy. Gary Stevens, once again, more, nothing more than a passenger. Richard Mandel continues to do an amazing job, and he was exuberant with the way Beholder came back to start her 2016 season. Well, Beholder is something special. I'm very grateful I've been out here for a year now to see her run. Let's take a look back at a few of her special moments. Well, first off, as a typical Mandela horse, even the best ones, Beholder did not win her debut. But she did have a great two-year-old year, topped off by a win in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies. She was special that day at Santa Anita Park, and she earned the first of her three Eclipse Awards in defeating a strong field of Juvenile Phillies that day. Then she came back for her 2013 season, her three-year-old campaign, and won the Santa Anita Oaks and headed to Kentucky as one of the Logical choices in the big race the first Saturday of May, the Kentucky Oaks, which was just won by Catherine Sophia in dominating fashion. Well, Beholder ran her eyeballs out that day and has never been a good shipper, but she was unable to hold off long shot Princess of Silmar, a great story in her own right, who ran down Beholder in the final strides. Despite the loss, Beholder continued on in her three-year-old campaign and ended up with a victory in the Breeders' Cup Distaff and won her second Eclipse Award that year. What a special filly she was. And then she headed to her four-year-old campaign. Well, the four-year-old season was not quite as special as her two-year-old and three-year-old season. She was defeated in, the, in a very strong running of the Ogden Phipps and injuries kept her to just three races that year. And unfortunately, it looked as if Beholder might be injury-plagued the rest of her career. But no, 2015, Beholder comes back and probably has her best season to date. Yes, she was undefeated that year, a perfect 5-for-5. Five five, and that included a win against the boys in the Million Dollar Pacific Classic. What an effort it was that day. One of the more spectacular scenes I've seen as the entire press box was in awe of the move she made on the turn. Wow, Beholder really was awesome that day at Del Mar. It looked as if she was about to take on American Pharaoh in the Breeders' Cup Classic, but she was forced to defect, and we never got to see that transpire. And we know that American Pharaoh ended up putting on an absolute clinic that day at Keeneland. What an effort by Pharaoh. But back to Beholder. Well, the good news is she's back this year, and she looks as good as ever. Yes, the race was not as fast. The performance and speed figures, not flashy but she was four wide into the first turn and took control when they turned for home and sheer pleasure let me tell you for little red feather racing and filled the motto ran admirably but beholder much too much in the end well let's just hope beholder can stay healthy she's pointing to the vanity mile next time out she'll take on three-year-old champion stellar win for john sadler and Aronis racing it'll be nice to see a little competition for her the ultimate goals, according to Richard Mandela and B. Wayne Hughes, will once again be the Pacific Classic and the Breeders' Cup Classic. Let's hope the six-year-old daughter of Henny Hughes can stay healthy and we will get something special, hopefully, in Arcadia at the end of this season. All right, next week we'll get back to the Triple Crown scene. The Preakness looks like Nyquist's race to lose. 
Of course, Exaggerator will have another shot to beat Nyquist. Has really come close, but really Nyquist's tactical speed, much too much for Exaggerator. A tactical advantage and a little bit more class from Nyquist. Maybe we'll get an upset. I don't see it, but we'll discuss that more next week. Thanks, everybody. Have a great week ahead and enjoy racing across America.